Hello everyone, I am Venrith and welcome back to some more Mudrunner on the Deluge map. So, last time we were here, what I managed to do was bring, um, unlock these watch points. Uh, I brought the fuel truck down here. I brought uh, the load off down to the uh, log kiosk. So today's plan is to bring this truck all the way down to the log kiosk and then bring this truck over here, over to the garage, configure it for logs, and bring this down to the log kiosk, and get them, if I've got enough time, get them both loaded, ready for the trip across. I don't know how I'm gonna do the trip across yet. What I might end up doing is using this uh, truck that's over here, and actually use that as, a, as like a little test vehicle, and just try and get it across. Because, you know, if I can't get that across, then I'm gonna have to pick a different route. But either way, we'll start with this one at the top here and we'll bring this down to the bottom here. I think I might just top it up with fuel while I'm here. It's not going to hurt. Unless I get stuck, of course. That could happen. Lights on. It's a bit dark out. Oh, this is muddy. Come on. There we go. Right, is this the way to do? Yes, this is the way. This is the way. Oh, come on. Bit of all wheel drive, I think. Actually, I might as well leave all wheel drive on until I get fuel. Because it's not going to matter if I burn through a load of fuel getting there. Okay, so that's me fueled up. Now, Two options really. I've got cross country like I did with me other truck, which could work, or I could go down the road. Um, I've not been down that road fully, to be honest. So maybe it might be best going down the road. Down to there. Let's give it a go. Turn off all wheel drive. It'd be interesting to see what the condition of that road is like. Look at the wheel spins. There we go. Let's turn off some diff lock. Plus one, which gives me a bit more speed. Which, of course, I'm about to lose. Like that. Just get onto this road surface. That's it. We're golden. Right, we'll just go down here till we reach our waypoint that we set up. And then we'll uh, make a right turn. And then will come the interesting part. Will we actually be able to get down the road without getting stuck? Let's find out.
Wow, this is boggy. Ooh. Do you go through the water or do you go along inside? You might go alongside. There's a tree there to uh, latch onto if I get stuck. I'm just going to bring the gear down a little bit. That way my wheels won't be uh, like over revving all the time, so I should theoretically get a bit more traction. Although I will be moving slower, so it's a bit of a trade-off, but sometimes it's actually worth it. Lovely. Now, the more times I drive up and down this road, the more it's going to get chewed up. Oh. See, when it came up like that, showing the lock icon and it going red, that means that your diff lock is overheating, I think. Basically, because you've got... You're in a position where you didn't need diff lock on. Oh, look at that. So you have to turn it off, because if you don't, you'll get some damage. I think it might have been slightly easier across the country, but maybe we'll do that with the next next lorry. There's some water here. Hopefully it's not too deep. Stay near to the trees so that if I get stuck I can use a winch. This game is really nice though. It looks quite nice. And I love the challenge, you know what I mean? Like, oh, just stuck there. What's the challenge of trying to, you know, there's no right or wrong way to do things. You've, you've got multiple choices in the way that you tackle all these objectives. So it can, uh, it can be really interesting to play it. Okay, so only 125 meters away. Not going too bad so far. Famous last words and all that. A bit of wheel drive on for a second, just to give myself some traction I might just need the all wheel drive just to get me over this hill oh yeah turn that off beautiful there is a stump there, which I might get stuck on. Yeah. Thought as much.
these trees lying around are just a nightmare. It's quite a relaxing game to play as well. Oh, look at that mud pit. Right, which way do we go for here? That way. I'm just trying to stay out of the mud pit as much as possible, really. I'm getting to that point where there's not really anything to winch to if I do get stuck. So, yeah, I've made it quite far so far, so that's pretty cool. Having to pull that trailer isn't helping, to be fair. Okay, I'm going to head back onto the road, I think. Let's see what happens. It's getting a little bit bumpy, the train there, so. I'm struggling to get a bit of traction. There's the fuel drop. I'm going to go to slightly lower gear ratio just to give me a better chance so as I'm churning this road up you've got to remember that I've got to bring at least one more truck down so I mean I could go backwards and forwards with this one that is the alternative option because that might be an option I only need eight points and, and if I can get across with the trailer that'll give me six so I don't have to sort of come back for one more load I could ditch the trailer as well hmm you see how you can kind of change your plans on the fly you know there's, there's no set way of doing anything Naturally, I might be tempted to try that. It could be a horrible mistake, but uh, it could be an interesting, horrible mistake. <laughs> right, so you can see this horrible, horrible mud pair here. So, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull it over here. Like so. Put the parking brake on. Stop the engine. And then we'll uh, change the truck to the K700. Right. Now then. This is going to be the interesting part. So you can choose a lock type to spawn. You've got short, which is worth three points. Medium, which are worth four points, and long, which are worth six points. We need to deliver eight points worth of logs. But I've only got short logs, uh, a short log trailer. So, for now, short logs is where it's at. 
Now you have to put a certain amount on the wagon correctly by yourself before you can automatically pack it. And here comes the interesting bit because we need, I need to operate the loader. Now this is not easy at the best of times. Uh, load of grab. This is not easy because you're trying to do everything in reverse now. So this this whole thing is now in reverse. So I need to do. that probably uh, parking brake off get close like that uh, look back to loader grab there we go look at that now go back to the truck and now I've got to try and load these up. Some onto the trailer and then some onto the actual wagon at the back. So I think I might start with the trailer just for fun. See how difficult this can be. It's just it can be so awkward. Right, about to load up. Tip them down. Uh, tip them over a little bit. Why open it up? Oh yes, look at that. Now I wonder if I've got enough on there to pack it. I don't know. Let me change truck. Uh, have I got enough on there? Ooh. Have I got enough to pack? Ooh. Trying to get used to the controls here. Uh, I'm not sure. How do I? Do I have to start the engine to do it? Hmm. I thought that's normally enough to pack it. Maybe it's not. Okay, let's go back to the K700. So I have to get some more. Maybe I have to pack the front one first. I'm not sure. Let's uh let's spawn some logs. those logs oh 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 pick them up 
There we go. I got caught on the air thing there. Right. I thought four logs is normally enough for packing it. That's. I'll put these on the back of the first wagon and we'll see what it does. It's definitely short logs. Have I got four on there? Have I got three? Yeah, we'll see. So, yeah, just try and line it up as best you can. Because if you don't get them in the right place, it won't allow you to pack them. And packing them just automatically loads, like, sort of fills the truck up, as it were. Right, let's go to the loader. Uh, oh, that don't look good. That does not look good. How do I do that? Come on, drop. That looks pretty good. Um, right, let me just change to this. Right. Was that not? Actually, that one will let me pack it. You see when it goes green like that? It means ready to pack, which means you can press that button and there's your three load points right there. Right. Why are these not doing that on the back? Okay, so I'm going to have to switch truck. I'm going to have to get just a couple more logs maybe for that. So, I'll just spawn a couple more short logs. It's not going to hurt to have too many on there. Just as long as I get the required amount to pack it. I have no idea why it's not packing on the back. I can put the same amount on. It should work. this is getting it's it's gonna get more and more difficult to load wagons up oh that's close that's close it could be because like there's that one log almost hanging over the back maybe I'm not sure oops uh, all the drive turn that off. So, save on a little bit of fuel where possible. Right, switch back to loader. Ling them in there. Hey. That should 
pack. Change truck. Right. Uh. How is that not ready to pack? Why is that? That should be packable. That should be packable. What am I missing? That, that, there we go, ready to pack. That was weird. Okay. So. I'm contemplating trying to bring that one down here and just trying to cross with it. Because if that gets stuck and I can't cross with that, then you know it's too deep there and I need to go further up. That's not a half terrible idea. And it's got some repair points on it, which is very handy. So I'm going to go down to there. To there. Then to there. Basically, it's exactly the same lorry. It's just got repair points on it. I do believe. Which means I can repair vehicles with this. Which might be ironic, because it's doing... Ooh, what am I doing? Uh, this might be the vehicle that gets stuck. It's very hard to drive these trucks on with a controller. Right, we're going down here. It's nice using the external camera on this because you can see what the wheels are doing and you can sort of see when you're slipping about and you know, you can change your driving style to suit the terrain a little bit more. See, this might be completely pointless, but I just think that if I'm going to get one stuck, well, which route do I take? Hmm. Let's just go straight on, I think. My thought process was the fact that if I can't cross the river here and, you know, this one sinks under the water, at least then I can sort of adjust my plans with the actual logs and that way I've not got to try and pull the log wagon back out or you know go through everything that I've just done again because my log wagon is now utterly useless so sometimes it's a good idea just to Play around a little bit. And of course, to test this road out because, you know, I'm going to have to bring logs through this road. Right, we're almost near the water. Something's banging around in the back there. So what we're going to have to do is plot my course to 
find the shallowest route possible. Because obviously this is not as powerful or as tall, I don't think, as the um, K700. And we only just made it through with that, didn't we? So uh, I think, wasn't it down there through to there? Uh, I remember coming through there. So I think it was up to there, through there, and then down to there. I think that was the route we took. Okay, wish me luck. See what I mean? Al already dangerous water level. I'm not sure this is going to be the route. Whoa. Well, taking damage. Okay, so now I need to sort of go across to there. If I can get to there. What I could probably do is just leave the truck there and then that will act as like a midway repair point. Because I do have a spare wheel which repairs 71 damage. Nice. Oh jeez, look at that. Okay, that, that's kind of working because I can sort of come across there and then just go straight around there. So that's the point where I need to um, launch from, as it were. So what I might do is bring the fuel truck down to there and I can just fuel up right before I head into the water. So what I need to do is go to there and then go down to there I love this vehicle it's such a beast get stuck if I go down there I'm gonna have to go through the uh go for the road. So I'm going to a slower gear. Just to give myself some more traction. There we go. Oh slip in, slip in. And yes you can roll over your vehicles in this game. To get them back working again, you do have to, um, you know, put them back on their wheels. You have to self you have to ride them up using a winch usually. Okay, this could work. This could work. So 
So, the route basically being is come across there to the repair truck, get the repairs necessary, and then try and make it across there. There's a few dodgy points in there, might add. Uh, get onto here, and then once one here, we can go all the way along to the lumber mill, deliver those logs, and possibly come back unless I want to bring the B66 over. So I'm not traveling too many times over that. That's an interesting idea. If I, if I converted the B66 in a, into a log wagon and brought it down here, then I could just bring one over here and then go and switch to the other one and then bring that one across. And that way, I've only got to make one trip each. Hmm, let's have a look. Right, we'll go across that. And then that. Now this one might not be so good for the water. It might be not tall enough. But we'll see. Yeah, water, water, water. Guess we'll soon find out. Based on whether we get stuck or not. There we go. Lovely. Let's see if we can get this to the garage. dangerous water level there. Unfortunately, you can't go anywhere without all-wheel drive on in the water. It just bogs down. Oh, jeez. Look at that. That's deep. Let's look at the next part of the map. So I think it was down there. Down there. And then just across to there. This is either going to work or this is going to sink. Of course, I could actually end up running out of fuel before I even get to the garage and the fuel station, so. Oh! Um, right a bit. There we go. Oh, jeez. Damage. Get me out of here. There we go. There's the shallow part.
Oh, Jesus, dude. Can I make it across? Now, if that, you know, that's struggling there, getting across that little bit. So I'm not sure it's going to even be able to cross further down the river. Whoa! Get out, get out, get out, get out. Jeez. Right, you can sort of see it a bit shallower to the left there. So let's go that way around. And I don't think I'm going to have enough fuel to get to the garage. So this might be all for nothing. Right, the next step. The next step is to get to there. So we've got quite a far, far way to go yet. So I think I'm going to run out of fuel. Um... Before I even get there. So let's go for one. We'll leave all wheel drive off for as long as possible. This way it should just slowly crawl through the water. And save me some fuel. Hopefully, anyway. Right, I can see where it's shallower. This looks like a deep bit. See, although I'm moving slower, I'm burning less fuel. Purely because I'm not using a wheel drive. So it is kind of working. Yes, it's going to do it, isn't it? Unfortunately, I don't think that's even anywhere near to the land, main part of the land yet. Although I think I've got some fuel on the back actually. I could just like fuel it up. <laughs> I don't know, he's me worried about fuel. No need. Right. Which was my way around here? I think it might have been up there. Along there. something like that because that looks quite deep over that side well in that case then lights can go on all wheel drive can go on we'll just gun it Deep. 
Um, am I stuck? Almost. Yeah, that looks really deep on, on the left there. So I'm just going to go to the right. Yeah, which also looks quite deep, to be fair. I'm literally judging it based on the lights reflecting off the bottom of the water. That and a little bit of in instinct. I think I can do this. A little bit of dip there, and then, yep. We're up, but we're still not out of the water just yet. We still have to get to there, and then to there. So actually there's still quite a bit of water driving to do. If I can just get out this water, I'll be laughing. Brilliant. Through the water. You see, that might end up being the way back with the logs if the other route is a bit too dangerous. Like, we should be alright, but the fact is I'm going to be pulling, you know, a lot more... You know, I'll be pulling a lot of logs with the trailer as well so on the other wagon so it might be a case of getting stuck a lot but we'll see come on drop So once I get to the garage, it'll repair it anyway, even though I've got a repair kit on here. But, uh... Oh yes, sink straight into the mud. So what I'm going to do with this... is change this out a little bit. Well, I hope I can... Uh... <gasps> oh, you're saying I can't put logs on this after all that? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. That is very bad. Damn it. That is bad. I thought I could... I thought I could install a... Uh, right, I need to go get some fuel for the... Thing. So that was kind of 
fruitless, wasn't it? Oh well. I bet there are a few of you in chat, sort of, in the comments, sort of going, yeah, I knew you were wasting your time with that one. Oh well. If worse comes to worse, I've got some more repair points and fuel to bring down. Always look on the bright side, eh? So I'll just get this fuel loaded up in the back of the back of this wagon. Right, garage eaters tend to fill up. Fill it full of four hundred liters. Right. So I think that's it for today. So what I'm going to do in the next episode is drag these six load points across the river here. Hopefully don't mess it up. Get to the lumber mill and then I'm going to have to come back and do it again. For another three if that all goes to plan. So thanks for watching everyone. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.